In this session, we discuss WordPress themes. In the last session, Anatomy of a WordPress Website, we discuss the general areas that make up a WordPress site or blog. A WordPress theme is a template that determines not only the look and feel of your site, but the position of those general areas as well. To choose or change a WordPress theme, go to Appearances, Themes. Now, when you first create a WordPress.com account or you first install WordPress.org on a self-hosted account, the default theme is going to be in place. And that theme is currently 2010 by WordPress. But on this screen in WordPress.com, you'll see a random selection of 15 different themes out of 102 available themes. To refresh this screen, just cl simply click Refresh, and you'll see a selection of 15 additional themes. Now, if you already have an idea of what kind of theme you want, as you can see, there's a lot of different uh, color schemes and column positions, sidebar positions and such available. But if you already know basically what you want in a theme, then you can use the feature filters and filter the themes according to colors or how many columns you want in a theme whether or not the width of the theme is fixed width or flexible width, meaning it, it adjusts to the width of a screen, and a number of different features or additional features. First of all, what I, one thing I want to note is the columns are the actual columns of a theme as opposed to the number of sidebars. In other words, if you choose one column, all you're going to see is the content or the main area of the blog. If you choose two columns, you'll have the main area of the blog and one sidebar. If you have if you choose three columns, that will be two sidebars and the main area. So to filter, if we choose three columns and click on search, then we see a random selection of 15 themes that have three columns. So we have our main blog area here and a couple of sidebars. Now some of these additional features are worth pointing out here. First of all, if you like the general look and feel of a theme, but you'd like to be able to change the header and the color schemes easily, then there a lot of themes have those features already built in. So that you can search on those features, like if you wanted uh, to be able to change the background so that you can include your own custom background, your own custom colors, or your custom header. Also, if you want to be able to use the custom menu feature that we discussed in a previous session that WordPress 3 offers, you can filter on that feature. And then a number of other features, uh, whether or not it includes microformats, whether or not it has theme options. And this is one that I typically use a lot because if a theme has its own options, that usually means that you can customize it easier. So these are ways in which you can search through the many themes of WordPress for, for one that might meet your needs right out of the box. Now, to preview a theme, click on the preview button. And what this will do is show your blog as it will look using this theme with your latest blog posts. To activate it, you can click Activate here, or you can click it from the main screen here by clicking Activate. Now when you do that, this now becomes the, the default theme or your current theme, and then you can view your site as it will look with this particular theme. Now this theme happens to have a lot of additional features, which is why I chose it. And we're going to be going through, in the next session, we're going to be discussing choosing a WordPress theme and in a subsequent session, customizing themes. So we're not going to go through all of these options here, but this is just one that I wanted to show you, a theme that has a lot of different options and ways for you to customize a the theme to, to your own needs. Okay, now WordPress.org, or a hosted WordPress site, works a little bit differently. Before you can activate a theme in a self-hosted WordPress site, you need to install it. Again, go down to Appearance, Themes, and from here you'll be able to manage your installed themes, or you can install themes from the WordPress 
Microsoft.org directory, themes directory. Now we have similar uh, feature filters than we did in WordPress.com. So we can do a search, say we want a three column or a theme with two sidebars. We can click on Find Themes, and then we'll get a selection of themes from the WordPress.org directory. Now notice that there are a lot more themes here than there are in WordPress.com. That is because there are a lot more themes to choose from in the WordPress.org directory. You need to be careful here, however, because not all themes are created equal. We'll talk more in the next session about choosing themes and how to be wise about that. Now when we click on Preview in WordPress.org or on a self-hosted WordPress site, we're going to see a generic offering as opposed to our most current blog posts. But you can still get an idea of what the theme generally looks like. And when you would close that out, and then if you want to actually install the theme, you would click on Install. Once the theme is installed, it then becomes available for you to activate. So you would click Install Now. And then once the theme is installed, you can click on Activate. And then if we take a preview look at our site by clicking the name of the site up in the upper left corner, we can see what the theme looks like with our latest blog posts. Now notice if we go back to Install Themes, there are some additional search features in a self-hosted WordPress version. First of all, we can, we can search on some of the same features that we saw at WordPress.com, but also we can take a look at the newest themes that have been uploaded, themes that have been most recently updated, and that's a really key thing to look at what, that we'll discuss in the next session. Also some of the featured themes that WordPress has featured. But the themes listed here are themes that have actually been uploaded into the WordPress.org themes directory. There are other themes that you can use, including purchase themes, if you can't find what you're looking for in the directory. You can search Google for WordPress themes to find these. To install purchased or otherwise acquired WordPress themes, click the Upload button. When you acquired the theme, it would have come to you in a zipped file folder. Do not unzip this folder. Upload the entire zipped folder using this uploader. Once a file is uploaded, you can install and activate the theme, as we discussed earlier. Now you may need to install many themes before you find the one that is right for you, but make sure you go back and uninstall any unused themes for security purposes. This concludes this session. In the next session we discuss factors to consider when choosing a WordPress theme. Thank you for listening.